Lizzy, 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 what's up, y'all? This way we Wayne, man, and I'm about to build a podcast studio. <laughs> For real, though, we really, we really about to build a podcast studio, man. Y'all know how these lives be. When you go live, we really just be talking to yourself in the beginning. But it's cool, though, because this video is going to get posted up on the channel, so I'm going to end up going with it anyway. So I'm, I guess I'm, let me start over, y'all. Let me start over. Hey, man, you want to go shopping with me for my new podcast studio gear? <laughs> I know you do, because you saw the thumbnail, and you clicked on the video. <laughs> hey, Cloud9 Music, what's popping? what's popping, man? We're going to have some fun today. This is going to be a quick little live um, while we are kind of waiting to get started. <laughs> I'm gonna start in like three minutes. I promise you. I'm not gonna wait till I got a hundred thousand people in here because I know y'all ain't coming, man. But it's cool. Uh, we gonna get started in a minute, and yeah, it's gonna be a a cool little day, man, where I go over some gear that I'm about to be picking up from Sweetwater.com to build a uh, podcast studio. My wife and I, we started a podcast studio, a podcast called Married to Music a while ago. This was probably about a year ago, actually during the pandemic. And we had, we did one season of the podcast. We ended up slowing down, uh, redirecting some efforts. And now I'm actually in the process of building the podcast studio. Since I, since I like y'all, man, let me get you. I'm going to go into my actual phone real quick and get, and show y'all some, uh, Oh, the audio low is really low. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to hear. How's that? Is that that's better? Is that better on the audio? What's the most famous person I ever worked with? Dr. Dre. Yeah, because I just plugged this. I didn't even think about how the audio level. There we go. <laughs> My bad, me dang. All right, cool. It should be a lot. When you streaming and stuff, it's a lot to think about, man. You got to worry about the cameras. You got to worry about your audio. You got to make sure your Wi-Fi is clicking good. Got to make sure all the video, all the different inputs is going, man. So I appreciate y'all for helping me out, man. All right, but I was about to show y'all some exclusives that I ain't really show nobody yet. Unless you follow me on, um, on the uh, gram. Right, you might have saw me kind of stopping by here doing some stuff. So, man, here go one image. Let me see. Hopefully, we can. Okay, I'll go one image right there. Okay, here go another look at the spot. Okay, so you see, we are coming together. Um, okay, okay, you see. Basically, I got this, um, get this one in focus. I got uh, a building that I bought earlier this year where I'm going to be building a, a, a full uh, Adobe Atmos studio. But um, in the meantime, too, uh, there's a few other structures on the property that I'm going to be using to uh, do a podcast studio and other stuff like that. I got some really dope ideas for this place. Um, all right. So that's that. That's like the preliminary, right? Now, what you see in the thumbnail of this actually comes from this company that I'm working with. They call it uh, Universal Acoustics. Uh, you actually UA Acoustics. I'm sorry. UA Acoustics. Right. And so what they did was they are doing the acoustic treatment for the space this is one of the images right here here's another one so they basically i basically this is how dope this company is and i'm gonna tell y'all about them more but basically i sent them those exact same pictures that i just sent y'all that i just showed y'all and then these are the renders that they made up of uh basically how my space could look especially with um you know with their acoustic treatment and everything it definitely gave me some inspiration on things and yeah a couple of things got to be uh switched up but uh but yeah as a starting point like it's pretty much like exactly what i was thinking about here go one more pretty much exactly uh the idea i had so 
the new podcast is on the way. Hopefully, all y'all will um, subscribe. You know, of course, I ain't going to waste your time. It's going to be a lot of learning up in there, a lot of uh, entertainment as well. But definitely, um, when you when you pop in and tune in with me, I want you to learn something and take something, uh, and take something away, all right? <clears throat> so, so, I guess, let me uh, actually make a list, right? Um of all of the different things that I'm going to need for my podcast, y'all jump in the comments and let me know, okay, um, What just in case I miss anything. But what kind of stuff do I need for the podcast? Uh, brand new brand new everything, right? I'm not taking nothing out of this studio and taking it over to the podcast. I'm, I need everything here. I need all new everything over there. So I'm guessing one of the first things that I would say that I need are going to be some microphones. What kind of mics? Uh, <laughs> uh, but we, we ain't even worry about types yet, man. So we definitely need mics, right? With mics, we're going to need some kind of stands to put them on, okay? We're going to need headphones, right? Um, what else? Uh, we're going to need some new cables, right? I want this new studio to have its own set of cables and everything like that. So I ain't got to be moving cables back and forth. Um, what else can y'all think of? Let, let me know in the in the comments here. Um, oh, um, 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 oh, I kind of know what, what kind of mics I'm gonna get, uh, <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna need some mills. Uh, I'm gonna need some cloud lifters too because I'm I'm thinking about a specific type of mic. <laughs> uh, what else, man? Zoom Live Track L8. Oh, I'm gonna need an interface. Okay. That's a fact. I already have a computer. Um, I have an extra computer. So we, we'll look into that. I'm not sure what the Zoom Live Track uh, L8 is. Uh, L8. What's that? Okay, we'll see. Um, the camera clean. Yeah, this camera that I'm on right now, this is one of the cameras I'm going to be using for that podcast too, though. This camera is um, it's actually the same camera I always use. It's a, a Sony A6400 with a uh 55 millimeter f1.4 sigma art lens um yeah all right i think that's a good start mic mic stands headphones cables cloud lifter interface um if we think of anything else uh, we'll a desk a table desk for sure and couches furniture i actually already ordered some furniture for the spot uh I, but a table is one thing that I'm working on. I I think that I could get like a regular, I wouldn't, like my idea, I want to have like a regular table. Like I looked at podcast tables and media desks. They just way too expensive, okay? Lighting chairs. All right, man, we talking about the fun stuff, all right? And thank you for all y'all interior design. But yeah, I'm trying to get to the fun stuff. Yes, we need lighting. Yeah, we going to need chairs. What's up, boo? I see you, you jumped in there. All right. So the first thing, um, let's actually, let's go to, let's go over to Sweetwater. By the way, you know what I'm saying? This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but I am a Sweetwater affiliate. So um, if you see anything that you like, just know that you can actually jump down in the uh, description and use my affiliate code to buy something from Sweetwater and it won't cost you anything, but it will help out the channel, all right? So hopefully I got this uh, thing looking cool. I ain't looking too crazy. I don't, I guess, do I need the whole shift to resize this? There we go. There we go. All right, bet. So we on Sweetwater, man. Dang. All right, studio and record. Nah, man, let's start with the microphones. All right, so I already know what kind of mics, man. I, what's this new from Sure MV7X podcast microphone? Hmm. They don't got no reviews, man. But. For 179 bucks, man, for the podcast, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong with that. For real, hear your voice, not the room. Prepare to be amazed. In an untreated bedroom, studios, a condenser will pick up everything from your AC running to the neighbor mowing their lawn. That's so true. But with Shure's voice isolation technology, dealing with unwanted noise is a thing of a pass. This fully passive system uses precision airflow in a tuned cartridge to emphasize vocal clarity and exclude the sound of your room and harsh reverb. And for the user, that means that every room can sound like a pro-level vocal booth. I've never seen this microphone. It's a new offering from Shure. This actually looks uh, like a great option for the podcast. 
Um, definitely if you are, um, on a budget, I would say go this way. Um, you know, if you have a tighter budget, cause everybody on a budget, believe that no matter how big the budget is, but honestly, man, when I, I'm trying to go all out on this, right, I'm trying to go all out. So I'm going to actually go for this big daddy that I'm sitting right here in front of me, the Shure SM7B. Um, we already know that that is a super popular, uh, microphone for broadcasting and it just uh i mean it works i'm broadcasting right now to y'all uh through uh sm7b so yeah that's what, what lydia said what about the mic you're using right now that's a fact the, this one is um this the one i'm gonna use okay so they have this in stock on sweetwater sm7b mm, okay how many of them do i need well i want to be i want to be safe so let's okay with the cloud lifter you can save if you bundle it. Oh, but I don't want the cable in this uh, stand. What kind of stand is that? Let me go. I got to see. Okay. With a boom microphone. If that's the on stage stand, I'm good on that. If they would have me with everything else. Dang, bundle together and save. $33 bundle savings. The only problem, though, is that I don't want that on stage stand. <laughs> As a, I'm bougie when it comes to the to the mic stand, so I don't really want that. Everything else seems like a great deal, but so I'm gonna pass on that. Um, how we go back? Go back, go back. All right, you know what? For some reason, there we go. You know, I got Pro Tools up in the background anyway, man. That full screen mode be tripping. All right, so they do got these. It's one already in my cart. That's cool. Quantity. Change the quantity in your shopping cart. That's that's what I want to do because I need four of these. All right, so in case I have any guests, I'm going to be interviewing people. Of course, most of the time it's going to be me and Lydia on the uh, mic. But I definitely plan to have people come through and interview them. I might even travel to them to interview. So I want the best quality possible. So if I got four SM7Bs, you know what that means? I'm going to need four new uh, or four channels of cloud lifter. So um, with the signal level of the SM, the signal output being so low, basically the cloud lifter is going to add uh, a 20 dB uh, boost and gain actually a uh, 25 dB uh, boost in that in that uh, in that l l microphone level right and so that's going to give you a much cleaner signal so you don't have to crank your preamp so hard um, especially because I really don't plan on buying any external preamps for this setup I want an all-in-one solution um, and I do have an idea for that but we're going to explore a couple of them uh, and but matter of fact preamps is probably going to be next too so drop in the um in the comments let me know what would be some good preamp ideas for uh for a podcast all right let me view my cart all right so they do got those bundles that keep popping up um i'm gonna definitely need two of these so since i got four mics i'm gonna need two ch uh four channels all right so far we had two thousand ninety four dollars for the uh for the podcast studio apollo x4 that's a good choice because you got them four uh, apollo preamps and it got the dsp processing and processing for sure let me go to the comments real quick do you need a new computer and a program no i don't need a new computer i have a um i have a a, a computer at the crib that i'm gonna use i got an old uh imac that has been sitting around not doing too much and for the amount of processing that we're going to need for the podcast. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. And if I need to take the setup on the go, I can bring my my MacBook Pro. All right. So let's see what else we got here. I, um, I'm about to go to. Let's, oh, I saw these dope. Um, uh, I saw these dope uh, boom stands. My man, Archie Beats. I don't know if y'all follow his YouTube channel, but he had posted a picture up 
Oh, Gator Frameworks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I posted a picture up of this uh this mic stand, and I keep on spelling it wrong. Let's see, of this boom stand, man, and it had these LED lights. I was like, yo, where is that? Where you get that from, bro? I need that. I think is this it? Uh, one twenty nine. I don't think that's the one. I think this the one. This the del yeah, the deluxe. Yeah. If you're going to go top of the food chain, sell me the iMac. You take food stamps. I do take food stamps. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, man, this is top of the MOOC right here. Look. Look at it. Yeah. This little point right here. And I think that logo glow like LED colors and you can change them up. Right. Got the cable management that flows right through the uh, the body of the boom arm. Here go the remote right here so you can uh, affect your lights on there. Um, since we are going to be, you see, there we go. Since we are going to be on camera, it's going to be good to have, you know, little touches like that. You know, lighting, lighting is a, a, a big deal, man. So I definitely, I like these. <laughs> so let's add, let's add four of those to go with our four, uh, our four desktop. Now these, these definitely will be stationary, right? So if i uh need to travel then i'm gonna have to leave these behind all right so far we at twenty eight hundred dollars good thing they got that good sweet water credit down here we might have to view that right i can check out with as low as 482 with six payments as low as 482 see that's what we talking about baby you can also get the desk mic stands that clamp on the edge yeah that's what this one is this these clamp on to the to the uh these are going to clamp onto the desk. And I'm going to get some I'm going I'm going to get some other mic stands too because part of the uh the 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 studio and not part of the podcast studio is going to be like a couch center. So the whole thing ain't going to be um uh, uh on the desk. So whenever we sit on the couch, we're going to need some reg regular um mic stands. And you know what? I like uh, DNR stands. DNR uh, uh, makes some really good stands. Oh, uh, 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 is that is it DNR? Let's see. Let me just put in mic stands. I think I'm getting the wrong, the wrong thing, man. Okay, definitely not the on stage, man. If you buy on stage, K and M stands are good too. But if you, I mean, to me, honestly, it's just my opinion, man. That them. The on stage stands, yes, they cheap and they sell them everywhere. But man, you're gonna be buying them things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? I know a hundred dollars is a lot of money to spend on a mic stand, but uh, it, I, I am with the uh, buy once, cry once tribe. So, um, yeah, that's what I would go with. You know what I'm saying? I would just go with the high quality version the first time and not even have to worry. All right, here we go. We got a Gator Frameworks. I do like they stuff. So we get two Gator Frameworks boom stands for 119. Let's go ahead and add two of these to the cart too. And then so with them boom stands, we can just boom angle it, angle them in. And uh yeah. What's up everybody that's in the chat? And then also for the, um, these, these are going to work a lot better with uh, traveling too. So if we got to travel somewhere, these will work a whole lot better. They got the tabletop ones. Um, and, and they also have some traveling boom stands that I, I have like two of those at the crib. So I can use those if I need to, but I think we good on it. Let's go to something fun, man. Let's go to something fun like the, uh, um, interface. So somebody said Apollo X4. Ooh, what about that? Vote. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Not for this project. Thunderbolt audio interfaces. That would. That's what that Apollo X4 would be, huh? God, now you really trying to blow the budget. I know I said I was going to go all out, but I have in mind, right? I'm thinking about really the Rode Podcaster. Hear me out. Again, I want to be mobile, so when I go somewhere, I can have my my setup right. And let's so this, this joint right here has got four mic preamps, right? It's only got two headphone outputs though. If 
for the best sound with the podcast, we want to make sure everybody got on headphones. If this only has two headphone outputs, yes, I could use splitters, but then we got to have independent control. You know what I'm saying? You don't get control over the level independently and all of that stuff if we do that. I could also use a headphone amp, but now I'm introducing more gear into a, uh, a $2,300 interface, man. Um, definitely a Scarlet could work, and I thought about that. I definitely don't need nothing too fancy for the podcast, which is why I'm thinking about the Rodecaster. Let's take a look at this. Check this out. And the reason I'm thinking about this, for one, look at that price. 599 bucks it also got these sample playback pads that i can trigger my sound effects my transitional music right on here i can program these i got four individual headphone level controls and a master control i can mix all four of my signals right here as well as have control over um, any usb inputs a phone call if i'm doing a live phone interview or even Bluetooth connectivity. I can connect via Bluetooth and mix that in 2B. And this thing is an interface. And not only that, you can record to a micro SD. I don't even need a computer. You know what? Put this in the cart, man. I don't even need a computer. Nah, we ain't going to go to the cart yet. I don't even need a computer. To run this joint. I can take this joint literally anywhere with me. We got the four microphone uh preamps it's got phantom power on board i can even have my outputs for my speaker so we can have some monitors in there in case we need to uh uh listen to anything you know what i'm saying when i hear something play back this is gonna be uh dope for that i kind of want two of these because i want to split it up side to side this might be getting a little too greedy though i could easily move this i could easily move this or just put it in a centralized location in the room make sure the cable's long enough so that if we over on the couch setting how i showed y'all before uh we could just move it over there to like the little coffee table move this right here and mix on the go and all that man oh yeah bet i like that i like that all right did i add that to the cart already all right let's add it to the cart what else do we need man do we need anything else all right i use the road podcaster at school and it's a great con it's a great console to control everything you need. It's a tight, it's a little fiddly in the menus, but we all use that. Okay. Oh, like these menus right here. Yeah, I can see how that might not be the best. These look at these uh reviews though. The the reviews are up there. Um eight programmable pads, USB to host, Bluetooth. Tell me more about this joint, though, man. Anybody that, that got some experience, I, I would love to hear more from two rights, too. Um, you know, what you what exactly you mean? It's a little fiddly. Two rights say uh, you can also send each mic to a different track in Pro Tools and edit it all up after it's it's a great console. Uh, uh, the Rodecaster. OK, yeah, um, yeah, that's definitely what I was planning to do for the most part, especially when I'm stationary and ho and I mean, I'm pretty sure this will work like this anyway. If I record the four separate separate tracks in, I will have the four separate stems even on the SD card, or I can use this as an audio interface because it, it's not just a, um, you know, it's standalone, but you can uh, work it into an audio interface as well. Records 2448K, okay, boom, boom. Eight faders, instant effects or music playback. Got eight uh, pads, four class A mic preamps, 48 volts, phantom power. It's uh, a little low, um, a little under four and a half pounds. All right, cool. Echo free phone connectivity. All right, so you're doing phone interviews and stuff like that. That that's, that can connect easily. Yeah, this definitely seemed like the one. I don't even know if anybody else is uh is competing with this let me just see i'm just gonna search podcast see what kind of stuff okay okay hold up we might have something let's see task cam this brand new this brand new what they got up here okay this look like the four headphone outputs this look kind of like the same thing you can mark your your spots i kind of like task cam now okay we got the eight we got the eight joints right here. We got applause. Oh, you can label them. Oh, no, nah, B. I don't know. This is a brand new joint, too. What y'all think? Should I get? 
you may want to have a compressor so that uh so you don't get the in and out guest sound um yeah that that i wonder if the other one has some onboard effects that would be dope if these joints had onboard uh effects okay this is this the little screen over there this actually this look kind of cool man it got a talk back control um solo one two three four channel got all the other uh controls and you can choose the uh it has an independent uh level control for the the sample playback too hmm i wonder if, I, I don't know if the other one had that this is pretty much exactly the same thing right it looks ex pretty much exactly the same you got your four mic inputs on the back you got uh stereo line inputs and a trs input i don't think we had that we got a uh a line out we got monitor outputs we got the four headphone outputs and then we got the power oh and you have the uh sd card ability to and connectivity via usb-c i don't know man i would definitely i might say the task cam too i might say the task cam especially because that thing new let me see look at some more pictures okay you got a headphone jack on the front too and then you got your four headphone jacks on the back Hmm. Hmm. This is in stock and ready to go. Hmm. Okay. Perfect podcast station for up to seven people, four physically present, and three more guests via phone, Bluetooth, and USB call in. Five inch uh, touch panel display. I like that. Record to eight, uh, up to eight sources internally. To the multi-track SD recorder for sure for mic inputs includes Tascam podcast editor software. You know we using Pro Tools. Come on, son. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity is great for recording phone calls. Uh, that's gonna be beautiful. Four headphone outputs with independent volume, stereo line, noise free. Okay, it's the exact same price as. Okay, and then we got what's this Tascam Model Twelve mixer interface controller. Hmm, and that's 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 something a little different. I think that I think we might have to go with the task scam, man. No offense against the road, but <laughs> what's this one? Zoom pod track. They got okay, so they do they got some I think this was I think somebody said this one uh if it looks dope, then it is dope. Uh, I think somebody, I don't like how they got the uh, the mic things right at the top. That's going to look sloppy all on the desk and stuff like that. Um, uh, and then I don't, nah, I don't, I don't like the layout here. This, this definitely doesn't look as, uh, as good to me just from the looks of it. I don't even want, I, I'm back to the other one. Um, so it looks like... <laughs> It looked like we might have to go with the task cam, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I think I'm gonna have to make the switch to the task cam. All right, let's add that to the cart. All right, what else we need, man? Um, let's go view the cart real quick. I think task cam doesn't work as an audio interface. Not sure. Ah, oh, hold up. Here we go. It better. It better. If it don't, then I'm done. Let me see. Let me find. I'm just going to hit the search button and I'm going to hit interface. Yep. And interface combos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Digital mixer with USB interface. So the task cam um, definitely is also a USB interface. A digital mixer with USB interface. Okay um all right just just double checking all right you can even record to an ios device how to use utilize the sound pads podcast studio startup all right um yeah I think I, I like the task cam, man. What y'all think? Maybe it's just the 
Maybe it's just master out the interface. Nah, man, this joint is a full uh, USB interface. Once I connect it, I'll be able to record uh, each of the eight individual uh, outputs to the, either the SD card or to, to my DAW. I'm sure that'll work that way. I'm sure. I'm just trying to find anywhere else that says it. I mean, it says USB interface, right? What, is a US, what else could they mean by that? All right, let's go back to the cart. Somebody says, Wavy, how many hours a day do you mix? Um, Probably about four or five hours, depending on what kind of workload I got. Um, There's only so many hours in the day, man. But let me just shout out Sweetwater while we on here, man. Don't forget, I am a Sweetwater affiliate. I love Sweetwater because they have the easy uh, two-day shipping, man. Your, your Sweetwater rep always works with you. The prices are pretty much the same as you can find anywhere else, if not better. And you get that free two day shipping and they give you candy. Great customer service. Everything come with like a, a, a two year warranty um, on all that stuff and no additional uh, cost. So, um, yeah, man. And, and they got them all them different payment options. OK, so let's move. The, let's remove the roadcaster. Sorry, roadcaster. You out of here. All right, how many things we got now? We got four of these, uh, four channels of Cloud Lifter. We got four of those. We got four of those, and we got that. Now, for the headphones, you already know what kind of headphones I'm using, man. Ain't nothing other than the wavy one. These ones kind of, they've been getting used, you know what I'm saying? Check out the details, though. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, upside down. We got the wavy on the headband. You got the red on the inside to let you know which side is the right side. That's what this makes it easy for you, right? Right side, left side. You got this braided cable and it's detachable. Everything on this thing is filled repairable because if they made for professionals, if you break something, which is unlikely because they super durable, imagine they just all fell apart when I did that, um, <laughs> super durable. But um, if you break some, every single part is filled replaceable without tools. Like I could literally take this thing apart right now. You can't do this with your beats. I wouldn't advise it either. And no, and boom, this snaps right back in there. Just like that, I can replace whole ear cups, drivers, anything like that, man. Don't don't try this at home with your beats. You know what I'm saying? Your Apple AirPods and all that. This ain't that. This is high quality. Wavy, man. You can only get these on wavywayne.com for now. Soon as Sweetwater stop playing and put me on their website. All right. Um, let's answer a few questions. I think I really, I got everything that, oh, we need some cables, bro. We need XLR cables. So we're going to need at least eight eight xlr cables to connect all those microphones all right uh let's go let's do that i forgot about that y'all gonna have me get everything and not have no cables man i thought y'all was down with me man i thought the sweet water ship to europe i don't know about that my i really don't i'm sorry so yeah we're gonna need like eight cables so all when you need eight you gotta buy 20. <laughs> all right so let me see 20 Oh, that's a five pack. Okay, here a ten pack. Twenty foot cables. That's that should be about right. Just that way I can be flexible. Right. Obviously, you you don't really want to buy more than you need, but you definitely don't want to buy less footage than you need. So twenty foot, that should be good. That should that should do everything I need to do. These Proco EXM, just like the Sweetwater's line or whatever. I've used these cables before. They, they work just fine I, I ain't going for the mogamis or nothing crazy like that it's already about to cost 230 dollars to get these cables so we're gonna go ahead and add that to the cart did it go all right cool what's our grand total man memphis in this thing man yes indeed dave townsend maybe i need pro tools for the do i need pro tools for the certification course yeah you need pro tools you will need it um you can subscribe to Pro Tools for the the um, the time that you're taking the course, or you can you know buy a perpetual uh, model. But it will be in Pro Tools 2020.3 or later. So for students who are just getting into the uh, Pro Tools, I definitely recommend uh, doing the subscription at least while you're in the course, and then you can figure out how you want to uh, navigate from there. Um, 
what other questions, man? I'm going to take a few questions and then I'm going to go ahead and check out uh, with my cart. Uh, we just a little bit shy of four grand uh, free shipping. And and I bet you this stuff will get to me in like in two to three days to watch because everything is in stock. So they don't really take long at all. Uh, let's see if y'all got any questions, drop them in the chat. What do you do? to sit right on the studio without having uh back pain um well for one thing you want to do <laughs> that's a good question man because if you sit here all day one thing is having good posture right if you know i'm sitting up i keep my chest up i keep my back straight um i don't really even lean back on the chair that much i find myself like just sitting up straight but what you want to do is make sure you get a chair that's very adjustable um to where you can adjust the height you want your knees to be uh like a 90 degree angle from like your hip you want to straight out and then straight down so your your legs should be like straight if your chair is too high and then your thigh is going down like this and then your knees going down, then that's a problem too so you want to be able to have 90 degree angle from your hips to your knees down to your to your legs right you want that 90 degree angle and also you want um a chair with adjustable arms on it so that you can rest your arms at the proper height as well so that they ain't pulling down on you all day so you want a uh, proper uh and then you want to be there adjust the back too and have some lumbar support so those that's the main thing get you a good quality chair and make sure you set it to the right height to where your feet are planted firmly on the ground and when your feet are planted firmly on the ground your legs are at a 90 degree angle and also you can adjust the arms on the chair man um <laughs> that was a lot about the chair should i go to school for audio engineering that all depends on on you it, it depends on so much um audio engineering school can be very expensive there are a lot of different ways that you can learn audio engineering now but just jumping on youtube can be a little bit tough because all the information is scattered out that's why people still go to school like you can learn everything you want to learn by going to the library right even though most of that stuff going to be updated i mean outdated by the time you read it right that's why youtube is a much better uh choice for learning because you can get information faster without going through all the, the red tape of publishing and, and books sitting on the shelves for years. Obviously, some stuff is still relevant, but for our industry, um, the library might not be the best place. Um, uh, so is school relevant? Maybe it could be. I know it, it helped me, but then again, it wasn't as many resources like YouTube and online courses and classes that I could take then too. So um it's, it's really it, it just so many factors man i was watching seinfeld last night and kramer said to george like that little man inside of you you need to listen to that little man so do what you think is uh best for you go with your gut uh bakersfield california in the live taking tips shout out to young skits how do you start getting into sound engineering you start by having a passion for it um you you love you get sparked and inspired that passion starts to grow in you you want to learn more and more about it you start learning stuff you start doing um and one day you might get a client um, but everything uh, in your life that you that you pursue should start with a passion and that's um the same thing with audio engineering do you record with to mike wavy secret so i don't know what the hell that's saying youtube is school for me me too i learned so much from youtube but at the same time um <laughs> taking uh, uh learning things in an organized way from professionals uh definitely makes it a, a lot easier to digest and learner i mean yeah, and faster to learn i will tell you that i ain't gonna hold you up right there even i put a lot of information on youtube but i'm also um teaching courses i had a pro 2 certification course which i think is like leaps and bounds you can literally go from not ever using pro tools to being really good at pro tools um through the end of the course now how long would that take you if you just tried to source all this information on your own on youtube it would take you a lot longer for one because of the factor that you don't know what you don't know so somebody needs to first tell you what you don't know and then teach it to you right so uh once you find out what you don't know, then it's easy to find it. But that be the hardest problem is that you don't even know that you don't know something. And how you gonna find out if you don't know that you don't know? Okay, that's all I'm saying. 
I just got the M track duo and it works pretty good. That's what's up. Watching from Germany. Shout out to my people in Germany. I got a uh, family in Germany. I have a, uh, a uncle who is actually pretty famous in Dusseldorf as an opera singer. Uh, his name is Eugene Holmes, man. Check him out. Eugene Holmes, Dusseldorf, Germany. I've been out there um, one time. <laughs> Watching from Colombia. Shout out to everybody. It's the headphone for music production and vocal recording because I need to hear that. Yes. Um, these headphones, the wavy one studio headphones are great. I let me dang, bro. Isolating headphones. Um, passively, they attenuate 33.4 dB of outside noise and noise escaping as well. So basically you put these on. If you notice the design of them, they kind of look like the uh, uh, deadening earmuffs, right? That you would get from a noise uh, 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 air traffic controller, right? That's what they're designed design like to basically block out the outside noise so you can hear your music and also keep the music inside so it's not bleeding into the microphone, right? So we have that passive design technology here um, that's going to allow you to get and, and also the drivers on here are, are just excellent the reference quality you can mix on these things i mix on these i text check my mixes i start my mixes and finish them on these wavy one studio headphones no kids zap man and, and if you got to travel and go somewhere these joints should definitely work any info on getting the companies to let you demo their monitors interested and maybe some ATCs, barefoot or PMC monitors, but would like to know the best route to test first. Um, that's a good question, Rhythm and Records. Um, if you are interested in buying like higher end monitors, you you might need to go um, con definitely contact the companies. They might have some pairs that they can send you for a demo in your studio, um, and then you just send them back. Um, you could also go to a spot like Sweetwater, man. Go to go to Sweetwater Studios out in uh, Indiana, and they got these studio rooms where you can go and test out all kind of gear. And depending on where you at, different different states and cities may have different uh, uh, pro gear shops that allow you to do that. Test microphones, test in here, uh, studio monitors, stuff like that. Um, Guitar Center does that, but I don't think they got the ATCs that you might be looking for. <laughs> Oh man. Shout out to everybody that's in here uh right now. I appreciate the likes, man. We only got 23 likes on this video, man. But y'all, y'all still cool though. And you know, I'ma still drop gems on y'all, even though y'all don't like my stuff. Yeah. What studio monitor do you recommend as the primary source? I love my Adam A7Xs. Definitely uh my favorite monitors to work with uh by far. Um, the best way to learn is with Wavy. I, I'd have to agree with that. <laughs> uh, what other, man? What else y'all got? Do you use two microphones to record vocals? No, I use one microphone. Unless I'm recording like some background vocals or a choir or something and I want to do some uh, stereo recording. But um, there are some techniques that you can use with two microphones. So just because I'm saying no, try it and see what happens. Try three microphones on one vocal, maybe one in the middle, two on the sides, right? And maybe the side pairs are like a match stereo pair. Make sure they're lined up uh, pretty uh, perfectly so you can get some phase coherence on it. And then uh, in the mix, you could have like the front microphone, the main one, right? So you got three, one, and then two on the side that's like facing in like this, right? And then you could have uh like moments where maybe on the chorus you unmute the uh the side microphones and get this natural widening effect and then you can mute them back and get like the and get back to the the mono uh vocal for the verses that might be a cool effect man somebody try that out and let me know i was the first like today thank you anthony see y'all be in here y'all don't know how much the like button works on an under five hundred dollar budget, what you mean? Oh, hold on, what you were saying? Where and when did you start getting musically known and getting clients? What studio monitor do you recommend as a primary source? Um, if you under five hundred dollar budget, um, I would say probably like some Cali Audios or the Yamaha HS fives. Um, I, I I think those are around there. But don't sleep on the Sony boombox though. Um, let me see, I got that. Right over there, yeah, I see right there. That's a little Sony boombox, and I I got the link somewhere probably in my uh 
I didn't mess up the camera and stuff. I got the link somewhere in my um in my uh bio or something, but uh in the description of this video you can probably find it. But yeah, that little Sony boombox is a beast. Um, I use the Evo 4 interface with the TL Lim 102. Um the Young Skit said that um, that sounds like a pretty cool um, uh, 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 setup. Uh, to me, the TLM 102 match with that interface, though, it, it could probably get a little harsh with like a super aggressive or loud vocalist. So um, that's just something that I um, that I've experienced when working with like the TLM microphones and um, kind of budget interfaces. All right, um, let's take like three more questions and then I got to get out of here. Um, I have the a Wavy Seals Elite meeting tonight, which is my membership group. We got a representative from Mackey coming through that's going to present a live lesson uh, to the uh, Wavy Seals Elite. Super exclusive, not going to be uh, hosted on YouTube, but it's definitely not too late for y'all to join. If you're interested, uh, you can go to courses.wavywayne.com to sign up for that. There's a, a monthly membership and also an annual membership where we have uh, weekly meetings, uh, live lessons, master classes, um, mixed reviews and critiques. We have um, mixed competitions as well inside the, the group. And we, we have a Q and A's every single week with me uh, live on Zoom where I jump in and answer a bunch of questions, troubleshoot um, stuff for uh, through the studio. So um, if you're interested in that tonight at uh, 7 p.m. Central time, uh, that's about two hours from now, a little bit more than two hours, we're gonna be uh, um, working with Mackie. Mackie is going to present a live lesson for the Wavy Seals Elite. I love for all y'all to, to join, try it out, and, and come and, uh, and be a part of that. All right. Wavy tip of the day, acoustic treatment before buying equipment. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> what super secret guests show up on the Pro Tools certification program? The super secret guest? Now, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a super secret. Um, what doll you using? Come on, son. You know I use Pro Tools. Pro Tools for life. I just got a Pro Tools tattoo right here. Psych made you look. Universal Audio Vote 476. Any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think the the vote uh the vote series from Universal Audio is interesting, man. I, I actually uh, I would love to get my hands on one. Um, so I, I will be doing that soon, so I can bring a review to y'all. Uh, but I think it's interesting. It's a, a universal audio interface without any DSP processing, and it's uh, definitely more budget friendly. Uh, I think it's definitely going to sound good no matter what, because uh, the people at Universal Audio are, you know, they're geniuses over there. So they're going to definitely create a good product. Yeah. Where I'm from, man, I'm from the Lou, and I'm proud. St. Louis, Nellyville. Um,. What do you recommend to use two plus monitors at once? A monitor controller. Uh, PreSonus Central Station is really good. Uh, Mackie Bit Knob can work. Um, yeah, actually, uh, a Mackie Big Knob uh, monitor controller and interface is, I think it's the Mackie Big Knob Plus uh, is what's, what's going to be given away tonight for the Wavy Seals Elites, uh, members only. SSL 2 Plus with a Neumann 107 with warm audio 73 equipment preamps. Is this a solid setup? Neumann 107? I never even heard of that mic, but um, <laughs> I imagine it, it could be. It sounds like it's, it's definitely not no slouch, you know? Um, if it sounds good, and there's a time and place for everything, and there's there's taste and, and use cases for, for pretty much everything. I, I haven't heard that particular setup but that sound like that's a pretty solid setup are you self-taught or you went to school both i mean school teaches you what you need to know and then the world teaches you <laughs> that's what that's what i that's what i learned man I, you know to me you don't learn that much at school um you get a framework for what's possible and then the rest is up to you you got to continue learning i'm always learning new stuff Thanks for this great live. Uh, I always enjoy it. No doubt, man. I appreciate everybody that's in here. I wish I could uh, stay with y'all all day. Let's jump back to my cart real quick and just recap where we at before we get out of here. Uh, I keep shrinking myself, making it look funny. All right. <laughs> all right. So our grand total is $3,962. Of course, we're going to get that free shipping. 
So for the podcast, we got the Shure SM7B microphone. We got four of those joints. To get the best sound from the SM7B, we're going to need some cloud lifters. So we got four channels of cloud lifter. Each one of these is two channels each. We got two of those. We got these fly ass mic stands with LED lights on it. They're going to clamp to the table. Also got cable management and all that built in. Whoo, this that's pretty expensive for some mic stands. But hey, you know, you live once, you cry once, you buy once, you cry once. You feel me? We also got some other uh, mic stands for the other side of the room that won't be clamped to the desk whenever we just need to be a little bit more versatile and move some booms around. The interface that we chose to go with is the Task Scam Mixcast 4 Podcast Workstation. This joint is a beast. It got the uh, eight faders on it, so you can set all your individual microphone levels and other input sources from phone and Bluetooth and also uh, some other kind of input. And then uh, it has uh, the eight pads on there that you can trigger all your samples for individual headphone level controls. Come on, man. It don't get much better than that. And then to hook all this up, we got... Um, xlr cables and that's that's what's gonna bring us there man so we're gonna have a dope podcast coming up remember it's called the married to music podcast it's already up if you haven't checked us out already um go to anywhere where you get um podcasts and search married to music um it's me and my wife we talk about music money and marriage and all types of things to help you grow your business, your relationships, and um, and make some dope music. So um, that's what our, our podcast is about. We are relaunching very, very, very soon. We're in the process of this whole build. So as soon as I get all this gear, get it all up, there's going to be more videos coming. The podcast is dropping. Go subscribe to the podcast right now, though. Married to Music. Search that on Apple Music, Spotify, whatever. Subscribe and leave a comment. Just be like, what's up, Wavy? Rate us a five star Eat and listen to some of our old episodes because we're coming back stronger than ever. I promise you, all right? Um, y'all have a good night. Uh, I hope to see some of y'all over at the Wavy Seals meeting tonight. If y'all haven't signed up yet, courses.wavywayne.com. Go sign up right now and then let's lock in tonight too. Y'all be dope.